everybody and welcome back to the Commonwealth. This is your friendly neighborhood lady Hop coming to you from Forest Grove Dam. And before we get into anything, you know, I am just going to give you guys a quick reminder. You still got a bit of time to jump on the bandwagon, go choo choo, down the rails, join this challenge, because the challenge will be up until the end of March. So, you still got a tiny bit of time. But as you guys know, your girl built um, quickly. So. And one more thing before we get going with the fun bit. <laughs> okay. Thanks to Anna Wim. And you all know her. She's here on YouTube streaming three days a week. Two days is Fallout. One day is Sea of Thieves. So. And a big, huge shout out to Shadow Star 77. And our Shadow Star has now a YouTube channel where you can find nice little tidbits about his mods. So, anything else I need to remember? I don't know. If there is, they will probably yell at me later, which is fine. I'll take it. Last chance, go grab yourself a cup of coffee, tea, water, something, something to stay hydrated, people, because we all need more hydration in our lives. So, alrighty then, on to the tour. And by the way, up here, guys, this whole area is buildable from... Well, I see about here. Past that. Yeah. And I started up here for exactly that purpose. Not just to showcase this, but also to remind you guys that this area is humongous. Okay. I purposely left out this area up here for later. Because my settlement is still growing. So, that way if I think of something else that my settlement might need or want. I got still more areas to put stuff in without overwhelming my build area. So, which is nice. Not just nice, it's perfect if you ask me. But hey, I'm biased, okay? But yeah, look at this, guys. It's beautiful. So normally you would come down here when you come from uh, Oberland, right? Come down here. And this area here is a random spawn point, which is beautiful, if you ask me. But so far, I haven't had any luck with um, nice NPCs spawning in. So... I'm excited to see what will spawn next, honestly. But I'm going to take you around the other areas first before we head into the main area. Because over on this side, we got a nice little fishing restaurant with housing for the people who lives and works here. Also, we got some doggos keeping the settlers company. Yes, we do. Hello, doggo. So let's first check out their living area. So they have a nice bench here where they can overlook the area. I think that's cozy, but again, 
I'm a sucker for good view. So in here they have their simple living area. And yes, they don't have any kitchen in here. As you guys can see, none. They just have a place to sleep. Because, aww, who's a good boy, dog meat? Okay. Over here, they have a restaurant. And every time they catch something nice from the lake, they take it here, get it prepped. And out back, we got our chef cooking it up. And then we'll be served by this nice lady. I kept this very, very simple because it's just a nice little spot where you go in, get yourself a plate of fish and chips, or a nice fillet of fish with capers and all that kind of yum yum thingies. So nice and simple. And then you're started up so that I don't have much yet. And if you guys haven't noticed, I'm scaling back on my decoration mania. A bit. Yeah, I'm just gonna look at the doggos just for a tiny bit before we move on. Okay, bear with me. <clears throat> and that map there is not just placed up willy nilly, it's actually a dog bed. So the doggos that live here have a nice little bed area to lay and uh, lounge on the deck. And here's the little fishing boats, all tied up. Yeah, a little into the water, because we all know. Settlers puffing. Ooh, joy, right? Okay, moving on. I'm just going to speed up a bit. And I do apologize for anybody with sensitivity to fast-moving pictures. But I also don't want this to be trillion hours long so up here we got some nice defense protecting our little seaside area here and here is one of my main fishing dudes and a god person are living here The old school buddies. So they picked this spot, created a living space for themselves. So they got a bit of bit of some buffs going on here. Yeah, I don't know how they got this thing in here. I wasn't there that day, so good on them. And they got a small water purification system going for themselves. I wonder where he's at. Maybe he's out getting more bait for the fishes. That happens. I have seen him down at the local market, so... And they got a small side hustle going on they got a charter boat so you can rent this boat go on this seasiding tour around the city but it will cost you and as you guys can hear hopefully um tourists lots of tourists Oh, hey there, Charlotte. 
good job. <clears throat> and here, now comes the difficult choice, right? Do we go straight or do we go left? You know what? I think we shall go left. We're gonna pass by the guard post here, where his body should be at, but who knows? As you guys know, settlers tend to wander. And if not wander, then sneaking around, stealing your get. But yeah. There's plenty of walkways so they don't have to sail, swim, or life preserve floating around here. Oh, oh, we're getting to our first shop. Whee! You guys want to come shopping with me? I think we shall. Hello? And of course, I'm doing a tour and my shopkeeper is nowhere to be found. Maybe she's on a pee break. But she's got a nice dressing area, clothing on display. And she's got her own nice apartment upstairs. Workbench with a sewing machine. And she's capable also doing minor repair work on leather armor pieces. But she mostly deals in clothing items, yeah? So, living space. Well, she's not in here. But you guys see this thing? I'm just gonna borrow the bathtub here. Ah. So yeah, she's got a nice area to live at. And an awesome shop. So, main entrance, but we also got a side door here. Because as you guys know, AI pathing, yeah? Haha, <laughs> made it through. Now we're heading down the main street. And in there, if you guys haven't figured it out yet, at the first of there, there is a nice little player home right in there with a shop with goodies. And I've repaired a lot of the walkways around here so they are easier for the sellers to traverse. Hang on. I thought for a second that I saw a god person up there, but I think that is just wishful thinking at my part now. But apparently some of them are doing what they're supposed to be doing, so that's something. Next up, our main watchtower. Oh, joy. Look at that Brahmin having a good time. Okay. Up we go. Before I could even more distracted than usual. But see, look at this. Isn't this beautiful? I gotta say, this is one of my favorite areas to hang out at, personally. So, very simple in here. The guard personnel don't have a lot of things. 
and all of the meals are already paid for so they can just go get it from the local bar or the fishing shop so they're all set but yeah a nice little overview of our main street so to speak Okay, are we gonna be stupid about this? I think we shall. Whee! Sorry, guys. <clears throat> yeah, we, we, we are down at the ground again. Whoopsie! <laughs> it's so much fun! My character has a jetpack, so we can fly. Kinda. Well, you guys know how jetpack work. Works. He says, speaking is not gonna function today, apparently, but hey. And as you guys can see, we got a whole slew of Leperian looking thing with the X. So the settlers can traverse the area easily. Let's go in here and say hi. So we got a shooting range. And that person there is my new god trainee. So they're gonna get trained hard. And thanks to the shopkeeper here, she allows us to do that. What's up, lady? Yeah. So this is her building. She did a lot of renovations here. Um, can you hold that, please? Thank you. Coming through. And her living area is up here because she makes a decent amount of caps. Because she's allowing us to rent her shooting range for training. And me and Dai on a whim, uh, we both fixed up this structure completely. But we did it in quite different ways though. Slow panoramic view. Keep thinking that dude downstairs is gonna kill me. And apparently, my armor lady, she um, has a fondness for old tech, so she got this baby fixed up. It's right downtown Boston, but yeah. And she got a pet gull that she stole, so. And she even got her own weapon workspace. But we do have a weapons salesperson. And she rents this out. Not. For, you know, square feet, but per bed. So. That's why she got so many nice things. And we got safety lights, a bit of extra bits and bobs for the guard people to pick up if they need to. And from up here, we can actually take a look, see at everything, kind of. And no, we're not going that way yet. So we're gonna do a kamikaze fall because here is the housing for my green trumped people we're gonna go upstairs first ah. okay people cheerio 
Mm. Coffee good. So that's one apartment. And we got another one downstairs. Not as nice as the upstairs one, but still. Pretty gosh dang nice. Uh, oh, I'm not going to show dog me that. Okay. Otherwise, he will steal it. I know that. There we go. So, yeah. And they kind of sort of made this a bit more a dry area to traverse. They, they tried. <laughs> and here you can either go to the right or to the left. But we are keeping to the left side. Somebody's been doing laundry. That's nice. Okay. To the left, to the left. Everybody moves to the left, to the left. <laughs> Yay. Oh no. Did anybody allow Jangles to drive again? Hello? I don't know who to yell at, but I'm gonna yell at somebody. Having Jangles drive, we all know it's not safe. That moon monkey is a hazard. So now we're down at the dog area. Oh. Nice quiet day. Do you guys want a newspaper? We can get that afterwards. Okay. And you can rent a taxi. Not that I would recommend doing that because... Um, apparently the teddy bears are running the show. So, as you guys can see, this dude got every little bit of bump that you might need. Or what? Okay, let's just sneak in here. While he's busy. So in here you got your main workshop. For the forest grove dam. But I made this. His uh, sleeping area. With a tiny bit of a li living space. But his pride and joy. Is of course his shop. And I say it looking spiffy. With my favorite lights. Yes. And they have been scavenging a lot of bricks from all over the Commonwealth. Had enough ramen. Carry all of the bricks down here with settlers. So they could construct this. And they even managed to steal some marble. So. Oh, you're supposed to be upstairs, Doc. This area down here, that is that deuce. Okay. So there is your main small pharmacy, so you can get your meds. Or even if you've got a sprain or something, he will fix you right up. With that is my head surgeon. He takes care of the long-term patients. And, of course, laundry area. Got to keep the sheets clean because it's a medical facility. Nice, big, clean bathroom. <coughs> and they try to create a cleanish work area to create new camps. What's up, Doc? If you need fixing up, let's get a look at you. Not right now, Doctor. Not right now. Fine. Not many doctors around this place. So, so let me take a look at you. I'm just gonna 
go upstairs before they try to cure me of everything. <laughs> so. Up here, relaxation area for both workers and patients alike. And here's where the doctor is supposed to be. And I was here earlier to check that everything looked a-okay, right? And both parties wear what they're supposed to be wearing. So, I don't know. So, this is our patient's room. And, of course, they got their own bathroom. With a functional top, shower, mirror, sink, everything. So... And no, no doors, because a lot of long-term patients might need a bit of help to get to the bath facilities, so having a door there would just be a hindrance instead of a help. Okie dokie. Let's get out of here. We are going out of the back door, because I don't want to hear anything about if you're sick, let me take a look at you. Whoosh. Okay, let's go get down and say hi to Grandma and Grandpa. Because I put in this ramp. Again, helping the AI puffing. And since this is a bigger settlement, they do have artillery. And here's Grandma and Grandpa. Yeah, I couldn't bring myself to delete them, so they stayed. But yeah. And because I'm a klutz, I had to actually put this in. So just in case I fell in the water and had to swim to get up again. Yeah, that's why this is here. <laughs> okay. I was... Oh, yeah, cozy little patio area for anybody, everybody, gas station. Okay, let's run. Oh, you want a newspaper? Okay. I can patch up if you need for a small fee. No, thank you. Very well. I spawned him in. And apparently he thinks he's a doctor too, so... What the hell? Um, buddy, you were supposed to be inside selling stuff. He was supposed to be a surprise, and now he's ruining it. I'm just gonna show them around your house, okay? Well, we can go upstairs first, and then show his house afterwards. Well, up here we got a trailer home. And uh, a vault salesperson likes to come up here, hang out, chat with the person who lives in there. So, and something tells me my Brahmin is Somewhere where it shouldn't be. Again. But yeah. Again, a nice area up here. Where they can keep an eye on everything. And we're gonna do a side break and go all the way down. Okay. So, our Voltec dude is supposed to be there. And pedal and make sure that water gets sold to anybody and everybody who needs it. Oh, I gotta remember to call the repair dude. That doesn't look safe. So this is just a little place, 
and I did try to make it nice and comfortable for him. And since they all are allowed to get all of the food for free at the bar, no need for a kitchen. Plus, they work hard enough, so. Yeah, I think the Brahmin is inside of, um, Don't ask me. This happens every single time I get here. My conditioner thinks it's A-OK -okay to drag his brahmin inside of the bar. Well, at least my bar person is where she's supposed to be. Yep, moving on. So, nice, clean, simple. And of course, that dude lives upstairs. And this is a combination of scoundrel's parts and bits and bobs. Nos, you bits. They found a warehouse with new material that haven't been used. So we raided that, brought it back. But yeah, nice symbol. But he has his own kitchenette up here. And he's been having another monkey party, I can see. Okay. But yeah. Home bathroom, bedroom, you know the spill. All right. On we go. I should have given you guys a warning. It's a lot of places to look at. Okay. Going down the side street. So here is the back side, kind of, of the um, weapon shop. Yeah, I'm just gonna run now. <laughs> we got a barber shop here. I don't know where everybody is at, but um, I have a barber assigned, plus a um, person making sure that everything is nice and clean in this area, so who knows. And I put in a bridge so they can get up there and traverse up here easily. Or you can walk under, so whoop to do And of course we gotta have blood leaves because watery area. And a bit of uh, advertisement for everything. And if you sneak around down there, you get down to the clothing shop. So. And more advertisements. And the last thing we are going to do is take a walk at the wild side. Kind of. <laughs> now we're going to take a walk on this thingy. And I didn't place it down perfectly. And there were pieces here already. So I just utilized those. Put in a bit more. Fix it up a bit. Yeah, buddy, you're not gonna path that way around. I'm not even gonna question it. I'm not gonna say a thing. I didn't see nothing. So here is one of our little fishing ships. They already got some fishes in there. Ready to get sold to the restaurant on the other side, so yeah. But as you guys already know, this area is humongous and I try to keep myself contained from going overboard, so 
That's why I didn't add any more bits and bobs here. But I think I turned, it turned it out a-okay. That's panoramic view. Yeah. Don't mind me. So. Let's just do this. Okay. Thank you all for hanging with me. And sorry, this one was long. Okay? I know. But yeah. Don't forget. Jump on the bandwagon. Do this thing. Try to build here. And if not, just download the voice growth down. From Nexus or Bethesda. Um, it's an awesome place, as you guys can see. And I think a lot of people will freaking love this area. That's it. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye now. Yeah, humans, humans. I have a treat for you. Just kidding. I'll catch you in the next one.